Hey guys, Dave Marshall here, the RC Air Marshall. Uh, listen, this video is going to be pretty quick. Uh, this is a um, a quick tip video, I think, on uh, what I believe is one of the problems with the elevators on the Freewing uh, FA18C, the uh, the new model. As you guys know, there's been uh, quite a few uh, folks that have had these models, and they have crashed due to uh, uh, either servo failures or the uh, the pins that come out of the back of the fuselage binding up. Uh, and I believe I found um, just an engineering issue, small engineering issue, that could be um, creating uh, a little undue stress on the servos. And a um, a quick uh, quick tip on how I believe I may have uh, found a little bit of... Um, of relief for the stress on the servos at least to uh, try to prevent the servos from failing and uh, you know truth has yet to uh, to come out on whether or not it will fix the problem but I believe it's gonna make a big difference so let's get right to the uh, the fix um, all right guys so what we're looking at here is uh, the servo cavity for the elevators and uh, Right now you can kind of see the fix that I have in place. But this is the uh, the link that comes with the model. Uh, this is pretty standard for free wing. You know, it's just got a 90 degree bend in the control rod uh, that you push inside the servo horn. And then you've got the little white clip that, uh, that holds it in. Uh, the problem here is that the servo horn travels in a horizontal plane forward and back and the control horn that's actually attached to the elevator goes forward and backwards on the vertical plane. Now the problem that that creates is this arm when it's inserted into the control horn or into the servo horn can move this way freely but it cannot move up and down right if you try to move it up it will bind now the action of this arm as it moves forward it will go down and up so what you'll see is that as you move the uh, the arm to the rear the arm will drop down a little bit and rise up and then drop down as you go forward. So right there, it's kind of at its highest point, and there it's at its lowest point. So as you move it forward and backwards, you'll see that my arm will flex. Now, if this was in there, that will create a binding action that will cause this rod to bend and place torsional stress on the servo arm, right? So. What we're trying to do is eliminate that. And what I've done is I have purchased a couple of uh, packs of the Dubro uh, swivel ball links. Here is the package. Uh, they're part number 2135 from Dubro. Uh, two 56 swivel ball links with hardware. Um, it's a pretty, um, pretty simple thing. They come with a couple of hex head screws, some spacers, nuts, and a ball link and uh, so what I've done is on the on the servo horn I've placed the ball going down towards the the body of the servo uh, because if you have it on the top of the servo arm the the uh, control horn is bent up this way quite a bit um, you know, and I want to try to relieve as much stress as I can. So I mounted it on the bottom, which offers a straighter travel uh, from the servo to the control linkage, which is here, or the, you know, the control horn on the control surface. And I've got ball links both on the servo and at the uh, control link. So what happens is this can now move freely up and down and up and down this way, you know, so you've got full freedom of movement of the uh, control arm and there's no binding at all as it moves 
and you can kind of see here uh, let's see if I can get a good look at it in motion you know you've got the freedom for this thing to move all around and it prevents any binding and any of that torsional stress outside of you know wind effect on the servo itself now uh, I believe that uh, you know, some of the cause of the servos that have been failing have been because of uh, that torsional stress where the servos have been stripped out uh, and not because of the motion of the servos when they're in full deflection because the arm is straighter in full deflection than it is with it up. And you can kind of see there, it's tilted up at an angle more than it is when the servo is you know, at a full, you know, climb or a full dive, full up or full down. Um, you know, so right there at its neutral area is where it's putting the most stress on the servo. And it actually receives less stress throughout its travel. You know, and you can see I've got the same thing happening here. So hopefully that helps. I believe it's going to... Uh, uh, increase the life of the servos. We can certainly hope and keep our fingers crossed. Uh, if uh, you guys found this to be helpful at all, um, and like I said, the jury's kind of still out on this one, but um, if it does help and it keeps these servos alive and it keeps these planes from crashing, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad to have been part of that solution. If it doesn't help at all, you know, uh, it, it can't be worse if that makes sense. Uh, the, the problem that was there was pretty, um, you know, pretty telling, um, you know, and, and this is, at least is gonna solve one issue where that arm was binding up and creating undue stress. So uh, if, uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you hate it, give it a thumbs down. Uh, be sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe, and tune back in uh, on the next video. See you guys later, bye now.